over 30 uh, people but uh, we hope the exact number is going to be provided. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I also want to express my sympathies to the family of those people who lost their lives within the prisons of Parliament. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that uh, Parliament requires to be cleansed because uh, the blood of uh, innocent Kenyans is within the presence of Parliament and I hope uh, those of us who believe in prayers will have prayers to also uh, cleanse Parliament so that we uh, continue as a holy uh, institution, as a sacred institution and as a respected institution. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Senate leadership led by yourselves and the minority and majority leaders for this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, as we are reflecting on what is happening in our nation, the house that has caused all this problem, they are in hiding, Mr. Speaker. They are in hiding. Many of them are hiding from the people Many of them want, don't want to be seen in public because they know what they did was not right. And the Senate has taken up the challenge of being a house of reason to discuss these issues freely. And I just hope, Mr. Speaker, whatever we discuss here, we debate here, should not just end with this debate, but we should have a system of ensuring that whatever we talk about here is actually implemented. I think that will be the main challenge as we um, debate this particular motion, that what strategies are we going to employ to ensure the many good things we have discussed are implemented. Mr. Speaker, I think the um, protest by the Gen Z Zs is a, a reawakening call to the government and to entire 